Hey guys, DeAndreOx7 here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some po more Pokemon Sun and Moon news. But anyway, um, I'm going to be reacting to Ultra Beast and Aether, Aether, Aether. I don't know how to pronounce it. Aether. Aether. So. Ultra Beast and Ether Foundation, the Ether Foundation, debut in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Um, with that on the way, the link to the link is in the description down below. Anyways, let's react. <laughs> New discoveries in Alola. Type no. Type no. That's its name. Type no. Let's try attack. John Jangmon O. Jangmo O. Radicate. Oh no, and Radicate. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Why is his cheek so chubby? Pokemon Sun and Moon are set 12 hours apart. Hey, it's Lillipop. I mean, not Lillipop, Rockwa. Current events will play out differently. Totem Gumshoes and Sun, Totem Radicate. The Ether Foundation. Lusamin. Lusamin. Ether's glamorous president. Baba. Ether's branch chief. Wicke. Assistant branch chief. Ether Foundation employees. I feel like they're like the elite four of this region. Team Skull's Enforcer, Gladian! Yo! What is he doing there, son? He's all like... <laughs> oh, dang. Search for the Alola region for Zygarde's shell, um, cells and cores. Zygarde cube? Oh, so you can like find them in the game, all right? Taking photos is a snap with the Pokey Finder. That hurt my ears. <laughs> hey, Dragonite! A mysterious threat. Ultra Beast! Yuki one What You B one You B one You B one You B one Number one but anyway, I I need to look I need to look for more uh what's it called? I need to look for more detail on these Pokemon like Type No, UB One, Jangmo O, Jang Jangmo O. So Jangmo O, Jangmo O has the pride of a warrior, although it remains humble about its capabilities. In its pursuit to become stronger, it never neglects training, because Jangma Oak uses the scales on its head for both offense and defense, it never turns its back to fight enemies. Many trainers see see this behavior to take it as proof that, that Jangma O is a valiant Pokemon. Jangma O gather in harsh lo locals, locales, locales. I'm I'm bad at grammar, all right. But anyway, um, like canyons, whether no po other people or Pokemon are around to live together as they train. Hmm. 
This guy looks kind of... This guy looks like that adorable Pokemon, but... Um, it sounds like it's a pretty powerful one. Maybe it's the pre-evolution to a even harsh, even more harsher dragon. I, I don't know how, I, I phrased that really badly. But anyway, enough about that. We have Type Null. Type Null. I feel like, like, what is this? This Pokemon wearing, this Pokemon wearing a mask has been dubbed Null, meaning nothing. So it's type nothing. I mean, that explains its normal typing. The shapes in front and hind legs are clearly different. Huh. That's true. Hmm. The reason is that type null was constructed to synthesize the strengths of various Pokemon, enabling it to adapt to any situation. The mask fitted to type null's head is a piece of equipment designed to control its latent power. It's extremely heavy, so it also serves to hinder type null's agility. To compete a certain mission, there was there was need of a Pokemon powerful enough to rival those Pokemon often spoken in spoken of in mythology. Huh. Now we need them Alolan forms. I need to see Alolan forms. Um, here we go. Region forms. Um, where are you at? Eradicate. Why is it so chubby? Type no, they broke the game with its name, alright? Type nothing. Man. But anyway... Because urban areas are their main habitat, their diet is higher in calories than ordinary eradicate, which explains all the weight. Um, as a result, they have become hefty. A willing eradicate prefers to eat only fresh fruit and high-class ingredients. You greedy son of a gun. There are rumors that a certain top-notch restaurant takes advantage of Alolan Radicate's taste buds by bringing it along when choosing ingredients to buy, huh? And having it taste t taste test new dishes, Alolan Radicate continually stockpile huge amounts of food in their nests. They mostly prefer to send out Alolan Radita to gather food while they themselves stay home in their nests and just eat. Little fatties. Alolan Radicate is the totem Pokemon of the trial that takes place in Verdant Cavern on Melee Melee Island in Pokemon Moon. It summons Radita to help it confront those who take on the trial. Are you fit for the challenge? And last but not least, we have this new Ultra Beast. Ultra Beast, UB1. <sighs> this thing doesn't even have a type right now, like... This thing doesn't even have a type. Like what? What? This this beast was include was revealed in the news release uh, on September six, which is today. Ultra beasts are a new concept introduced in Pokemon Sun and Moon. The true nature of ultra beasts are not yet known, but they possess powers that could pose a threat on hu to humans and Pokemon. I broke the game. Like, you be one. You be one. But anyway, you be one's body is composed of a glass-like substance. However, it constantly... No, yeah, it constantly change... It's constantly changing shape. Never settling on one. While evidence of something like a survival instinct can be observed in UB1, no one knows whether it has a will of its own or any emotions. It said that for some reason, its movements resemble those of a young girl. Huh. Um, I... I don't know how I feel about these. I really don't know how I feel about this. Type null UB1? Like... Its name is just letters and numbers, and freaking uh, type null. That's like the first name where it just has nothing, like type nothing, man. So it's normal type because it doesn't even have a type. 
I don't know how to feel about this, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. Man, I don't know how I feel about this. See you guys next time. Deandre 7 out.